Here in this video, you will learn about the continuity of a function. Continuity of a function is very much essential. It is the basic of differential calculus and we must know what a continuous function is and how it is checked mathematically. Okay, let us learn how to check the continuity of a function mathematically. Whether a function is continuous or not. By graphically, we can see, suppose this is x-axis and y-axis and we want to draw a curve. If we can draw a curve continuously without, without raising our hand, okay, from a point A to B, suppose. Then, in this curve, you will see there is no hole or gap. There is no hole like this. Uh, this is a curve and we have to drop here and then like this. Okay, then you can see that there is a hole here. There is a hole here. That means the curve is not continuous from in the interval A to B where there is a point C. At the point C, the curve is not continuous or at the point D, the point is not continuous. So in this way, we can understand whether a curve or a function, as I told you, curve or graph all represents a function. So instead of saying curve a graph, if I say function, then you should understand that it represents, it is representing a curve. Okay. Uh, so uh, we have seen in this diagram that there are two holes at the point C and D, C and D, where the curve is not continuous. Mathematically, how we can show? Mathematically. Mathematically, how to show a function is continuous. For that, we have to show left hand limit is equal to right hand limit equal to value of the function at the point. Suppose fx is a function and you are asked to show the function is continuous at the point x equal to a. Then we have to show this one left hand limit equal to right hand limit equal to f equal to a, f of a. That means the functional value at the point a. Again, I want to repeat how left hand limit we find out LHL we write limit x tends to 0, a tends to 0 minus f of a minus h and right hand limit we write limit a tends to 0 f of a plus h okay this one f and z are two continuous functions at a point say a then number one their sum f plus z is also continuous at the point a their difference f minus z is also continuous at the point a their multiplication is also continuous at the point a and their division f by z is also continuous at the point a uh, let us uh, learn few results every rational function is continuous rational function uh, means what it is in the form fx by zx for example y equal to x plus 2 by x plus 3 like rational number okay by type p by q type every rational function is continuous function number two every polynomial function is continuous polynomial functions means y equal to x cube plus 3 x number 3 every trigonometric functions are continuous trigonometric as you know sin x cos x tan x sec x all trigonometric functions are continuous okay composition of two functions composition of two functions are again continuous now let us discuss few questions from the exercise 5.1 you see the first question prove that the function fx equal to 5x minus 3 is continuous at x equal to 0 at x equal to minus 3 and x equal to 5 we have to discuss the continuity of this function at three different points 0 minus 3 and 5 uh, function is 5x minus 3 okay and the given points are x equal to 0 minus 3 and Five, three different points we have to discuss so one by one let us discuss at x equal to 0 left hand limit 
limit h tends to 0 f of a minus h is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of here a is what 0 0 minus h limit h tends to 0 f of minus h is equal to limit h tends to 0 the function is 5x minus 3 5x minus 3 so in place of x we have to write minus h 5 into minus h minus 3 now you can put the limit if you put h equal to 0 0 then this will give us what 5 into 0 0 0 minus 3 is minus 3 so left hand limit we got minus 3 now let us take the right hand limit RHL equal to limit a tends to 0 f of a plus h equal to limit a tends to 0 f of 0 plus h limit a tends to 0 f of h is equal to limit a tends to 0 f of h this time x is h so here we have to put h it will be 5 h minus 3 now if you put h equal to 0 this will give us minus 3 that means the left hand limit and the right hand limit are equal till now it's okay now we have to check the value of the function at the point a that means 0 f 0 f 0 so 5 into 0 minus 3 value of x is 0 this will give us what minus 3 so all the left hand limit right hand limit and the value of the function equal to 0 so what we got left hand limit equal to right hand limit equal to f of 0 that means the function is continuous function is continuous x equal to 0 now let us check uh, the function is continuous at x equal to minus 3 or not the same way we have to do uh, left hand limit equal to limit h tends to 0 it should be f of a minus h let us put directly a means minus 3 to minus 3 minus h equal to limit h tends to 0 5x minus 3 now this time x is minus 3 minus h so 5 of minus h minus 3 minus 3 i think you understood it if we put h equal to 0 h equal to 0 here this will give us 0 minus 3 means minus 3 that means minus 15 minus 3 means minus 18 you yourself check it okay it is minus 18 right hand limit f of oh sorry limit a tends to 0 f of minus 3 plus h this will give us limit a tends to 0 5 into minus 3 plus h minus 3 and which will give us what if we put 0 for h it will give us minus 15 minus 3 minus 18 so left hand limit and right hand limit are equal now our time is to check the value of the function at the point minus 3 f of minus 3 it is 5 into minus 3 minus 3 that means minus 18 so since left hand limit and the right hand limit and the value of the function is equal minus 3 are equal therefore function is function is continuous at the point x equal to minus 3 x equal to minus 3 so i request you to do the next one that means at x equal to 5 yourself next question let us do question number 5 is the function f defined by fx equal to x if x less than equal to 1 5 if x greater than 1 continuous at x equal to 0 at x equal to 1 x equal to 2 at three different points we have to so and here the function is like this okay there is condition when x less than equal to 1 then we have to write x 
when x is more than 1 then we have to write 5 given function is fx equal to x fx equal to x when x is less than equal to 1 less than 1 this is the function and we, have to, we need to check at x equal to 0 at x equal to 1 at x equal to 2 so at x equal to 0 listen carefully h is what h is a very very small positive quantity you can take the values of h like this 0 0.00001 even you can make make very smaller also no problem okay as much as you can you can take the value of h as a small that is h now if we take the left hand limit that means 0 minus 0 minus h that means 0 minus 0 0.0001 which will give us like this isn't it which is what we take which is less than 1 that means for left hand limit we have to use this function again if we take the right hand limit that means a plus h so 0 plus h which will give us h h means 0 0.0001 which even also less than 1 positive but less than 1 so for that case also we have to use the same function x that means for both left hand limit and the right hand limit we, we will have to use the same function x so when this type of situation arises we do not take left hand limit and right hand limit separately we take only the limit now let us do directly limit no left hand limit right hand limit required you may take no problem but it will take time it will consume time is that it so instead of taking all those left hand limit right hand limit we'll take only this then limit limit x tends to zero uh, fx fx means x here okay then you put x equal to zero in the function it will give us zero so the limit is zero here fx will be equal to zero because from both left hand limit and right hand limit at the point zero will give us the same function x so here it is x here it is x and if we put x equal to zero then it will give us zero that means limit is zero now we shall check below the function at the point zero that means f of zero zero you see it is zero the value of x is zero the condition is how when x is less than equal to one zero is less than equal to one so we have to use x x means what is put here that we have to put here if it is y then it is y if it is one then it is one if it is zero then zero that means zero so what we got limit x tends to zero fx equal to f of zero equal to f of zero therefore the given function is continuous at the point x equal to zero hope you understood now let us check at the point one one minus h left hand limit one minus h that means one minus point zero 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 one which will be zero point something that means which is less than x so for that we have to use this function x and for 1 plus h that means 1.0001 which is greater than 1 so we have to use 5 that means for left hand limit we have to use x and for right hand limit we have to use 5 two different functions we have to use so in this case we have to take left hand limit and the right hand limit okay here only i want to make it clear again for you if it is 2 if it is 2 then you see 2 minus h means what 2 minus 0 0.001 which will give us 1 point something that means more than 1 so in that case you have to use 5 and if it is 2 plus h which is also greater than 1 2 point something that case also you have to use 5 that means for both left hand limit and right hand limit you have to use 5 so same as 0 in case of 2 you don't have to take 
left hand limit and the right hand limit you take limit directly at the point x equal to 2 okay so let us check at x equal to 1 lhl limit a stands to 0 f of 1 minus h limit a stands to 0 1 minus h means less than 1 that means x you have to write here x means 1 minus h so 1 minus h putting h equal to 0 will give us 1 that means left hand limit is equal to 1 right hand limit limit a stands to 0 f of 1 plus h limit a stands to 0 1 plus h means 1 point something which is more than 1 that means equal to 5 there is no h to put the value so will give us only 5 so in case of left hand limit we got 1 but right hand limit we got 5 that means limit does not exist no need to find at f equal to that means the given function is not continuous at the point x equal to 1 I request you to check whether the function is continuous at the point x equal to 2 yourself.